Hello, let's talk about Teeswater Sheep. The free-flowing, curly, white fleece on a traditional teeswater, coupled with the bold markings on the head and legs, immediately identify this rare breed. This is a polled breed, which means it does not have horns. Teeswaters are a dual-purpose sheep. They produce a lean meat and an outstanding fleece. Teeswaters have made a splash in the show ring with their elegant presentation and unique qualities, as well as being in high demand for their outstanding fiber characteristics. The Teeswater sheep is being established in the United States through a breed-up process. Um, we, we cannot import the live animals. Uh, that is against our government regulation. So what we do is we import frozen semen from the UK and we create them here. Because the Teeswater is in the process of being established here in the US and Canada, they are given a percentage that indicates the amount of Teeswater genetics they carry. As a result, registered Teeswaters will vary in their likeness to the purebreds found in the UK from 50% animals through five or more generations of breed up, resulting eventually with a purebred American Teeswater. The conformation, the fleece characteristics and markings will vary quite a bit during this breed up process as shepherds make their breeding choices to reach the desired goal of recreating this amazing Teeswater breed. There are breeders who, through careful choices and many years of infusing purebred UK genetics, have achieved high percentage animals who rival the appearance and characteristics of the founding UK breed. Some American Teeswaters have actually been accepted into the UK Teeswaters flock book. Let's talk a few minutes about the fiber that Teeswaters produce. They are British long wools, so they grow a, a long, more open fleece than, for instance, a, a fine or a medium wool. Um, and the characteristics are really outstanding. The locks form uh, beautiful, what is called pearled uh, characteristics. And that what that simply means is it kind of rolls back and forth on itself. It doesn't just spiral around. The individual locks like to hang freely. Um, they retain that, that wonderful lock structure uh, throughout the, the growth of the fiber. So whether you get a fiber that is uh, three or four inches long or a, uh, a lamb fleece or a fleece that's been allowed to grow on a yearling for a year, might be as long as 12 to 16 inches long, the individual strands of locks stay separated and hold their integrity. The luster remains in the fiber after washing and even after dyeing. So it's a very bright, uh, sort of, she has a sheen to it. It's a, it's a beautiful fiber and you really have to get your hands on it to appreciate the feel of the fiber as well as the look and characteristics of the fiber. Fiber artists seek out the individual locks, the roving that is made from this fiber, the commercial spun or more traditionally hand spun in various weights. Hand spinners adore using this fiber. Uh, a lot of it is spun actually uh, right from the fiber itself, rinsed or lightly washed. It can be spun right from the lock. Uh, there are some really unique techniques that hand spinners use, uh, tail spinning and core spinning, for instance, that will leave the characteristic of the lock intact and you can see how unusual they are. You can knit your locks or crochet them directly into a project. Felters, weavers, fiber artists of all types just fall in love with the characteristics of the lock. 
The unique combination of being a strong fiber and a silky fiber that will provide a drape in a finished garment is just lends itself to so many different variations and uses. You're bound to fall in love with it. Listed as critical by the Livestock Conservancy, Teethwaters are also participants in the Shave em to Save em program. The ATSA, American Teeswater Sheep Association, has a label that they use to identify fiber from registered teeswaters. So you know when you're purchasing something, you're getting the real deal. I hope you will consider adding teeswaters to your flock or simply add their fiber to your palette.